Cement is the most manufactured commodity in the world, with more than 4 billion tons of it used every year. That's one and a half kilograms of cement every day for every person on the planet. As the core material of concrete and mortar, which are used in the buildings and infrastructure that surround us, cement is essential to our everyday life. However, cement production requires vast amounts of natural resources and is responsible for 8% of our carbon dioxide emissions, three times what is released from aeroplanes globally. At the University of Sheffield in the UK, material scientist and process engineer Dr. Theodore Hanein and his team are investigating alternative methods for cement production. This includes replacing raw materials with waste products from other industries and finding techniques to reduce the carbon dioxide released during cement manufacture. Emissions from cement production are mainly from the conversion of the raw material into clinker in high temperature rotary kilns, which is the key process in cement manufacture. The most common type of cement produced today is Portland cement, which relies on carbon being removed from limestone, calcium carbonate, to produce lime, calcium oxide. This emits CO2 and almost half of the limestone's solid mass is lost in the process. Theo and his team are interested to see if this natural raw material can be substituted with byproducts from other sectors. This could be from steel manufacture or mineral mining, or using old cement from construction or demolition sites. Developing processes to use these byproducts would reduce the emissions from cement production and repurpose waste from other sectors, preventing it from becoming landfill. However, any alternative materials will contain other elements that could change the underlying chemistry of the produced cement. Theo's project, FE Rich, is investigating this challenge when using byproducts from steel manufacture. If the cement and steel industries were countries, they would be the third and fourth highest emitters of CO2 after the USA and China. So reducing the environmental burden of both these industries is essential, and the FE Rich team is creating a sustainable relationship between them to do so. Steel byproducts contain the key elements essential to cement production, such as calcium that is not bound to carbon and an unusually high amount of iron. The introduction of iron leads to the production of calcium aluminoferrites, compounds made from iron with one or more metallic element. Theo and his team are interested in fully understanding these compounds and learning how they affect the qualities of the end product, especially its durability and how it reacts with water. Theo's research feeds into a broader concept known as the circular economy, one element of which is repurposing one industry's waste as the raw materials of another, contributing to a sustainable future for us all. What could you achieve as a materials scientist and process engineer?